Hey everyone, so I recently built an ecosphere and this is its one month update. I did two time lapses, one from the front and another from the side. I only took one picture per day, but in the future I'd probably try to do several. Too much happens in one day to capture it all with just one picture. Also, another thing I would like to change is the location of the tank. I wasn't able to use a tripod, so none of my pictures were taken in the same spot. So it kind of throws everything off. But as you can see from the video, this thing went downhill pretty fast. All the plants that were planted at the bottom were taken over by a spiderweb-like material. I don't know if it's a fungus or if it's a type of algae, but it killed the plants and wrapped itself over the bonsai tree. In some places, it even looks like mold is growing in it. But here's a close-up of the tree covered in this stuff. Near the top, it has grown these spiky looking things. I'm assuming it's just looking for more things to grow over, kind of like how ivy grows over trees. But this stuff goes from the base of the tree all the way to the top. If any of y'all know what it is or experienced anything like this, feel free to leave a comment sharing your experiences. This pond water had some pretty nasty stuff in it, and I think when I changed the environment, it was able to grow things it normally wasn't able to do. This pond water had a waterfall, so it constantly it was moving and being aerated, but here in the tank, it was completely stagnant. So I think this is the main reason for the takeover, all the, the algae and the mold and things like that. Despite it looking so bad, there still seems to be quite a bit of life in here. I even found a worm. This guy must have started out extremely small because we saw everything that I put into this aquarium back in the last video. This was probably the biggest organism I saw, but I did find some other larger things as well. The next video clip appears to be some sort of flatworm. I'm not sure what it is or what it's doing, but it's still cool to see something that didn't require a camera to view. The rest of the organisms are extremely small, and this makes up most of what's living in this aquarium. Since these things were so small, I had to set the camera out of focus in order to view them. I would need to take a water sample in order to see what's actually swimming around, so maybe if y'all express enough interest, I might break it open and see what's swimming around. Or maybe I'll save that for the year update if it makes it that long. But let me know what y'all think. Although there still seems to be a lot of life in here, it did seem significantly less than when we first started. I feel like that it was about 10 days after the organisms were added to the experiment that it really hit its peak. I feel like that is to be expected though since things always do better under ideal circumstances and at the time all the plants were alive whereas now um, they're pretty much all dead. There's one floating plant at the top that's kind of hanging in there but I don't know how long it will make it. So, But yeah. I'm interested to see how this ecosphere does long term. These critters are pretty resilient and they have been reproducing like crazy. I'm hoping next time to add a water filter without the actual filter uh, just to help increase water movement. I bet that would help prevent a lot of that nastiness from getting out of control and to keep the plants healthier in general. But yeah, this was my one month update. I hope to do a year long update as well, but by the looks of it, it probably won't make it that long. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to help support these videos, think about giving to my Patreon. But if not, thanks and I'll see y'all soon.